Hey everybody, welcome back to the Magic Channel Card Tricks and today we're gonna learn how to do two tricks back to back. See, oftentimes uh, you'll learn one of these tricks and then somebody will say, do another one. And then you have to think, do I even know another one? <laughs> so uh, what you can do is learn two tricks that go together. And the great thing about the trick I'm gonna show you is that the first trick helps you with the second trick. It's really easy. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a key card. Now I've done other videos about key cards, but basically a key card is a card that you know and you know where it is. All right. So for our uh, time together, we'll just use the two of spades. Two of spades will be my key card. I know where it is and I know what it is. Uh, when you have a card on the bottom, you can always deal cards off the top like this and then just place them right back on top. That keeps the two of spades in that same spot. You can do that a couple times. It looks like shuffling, but it's, it's really not, right? And so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have your spectator cut the cards. Say, go ahead and cut the cards, okay? So they cut the cards. And then you ask them to pick either pile, all right? So if they pick this pile, that's the pile that doesn't have the key card. Doesn't have the key card. I would move the key card out of the way and I would just fan through the cards like this and let them draw any card they want. Okay? So let's say they draw out this card. Man, there was a lot of twos in this video. <laughs> okay? What I'll do at this point is I'll lay this stack right back on top and have them place their card on top of the entire deck and I'll tell them to cut their card into the middle. They're gonna cut their card into the middle, just like that. And you can tell them, you might go ahead and cut it one more time just to lose it. They'll cut it one more time. So what did that do? Well, that puts your key card on top of their card. Okay, their card was the, well, my card was the two of spades, right? And I don't know what their card was. But if I take the deck now, and I run the cards from left to right, I can look for my two of spades, and it's right here. And I know that in the very next card, the two of diamonds is theirs, okay? So I'm not gonna finish the trick. I'm gonna show you what to do uh, with, with the next example, all right? So that was just what to do if they pick the half, the top half, that didn't have your key card. So key cards on the bottom, once again, we're gonna do it a different way. So we'll pretend to pretend to shuffle, right? Keeping our key card on the bottom. I'll put the deck out and I'll say, cut the deck in half. They cut the deck in half. I say, pick one of the halves and they pick the bottom half. Again, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna spread through, have them pick any card. If they pick the bottom card, you already know it, right? So game over, but they probably won't, okay? So they'll pick this card, okay? Seven of clubs. I'm gonna scoop all this back up together, just like that, and I'll tell them to put their card back on top of just the lower half. So the difference is, instead of combining, now I'm just having them put it back on the lower half, the lower half that still has my key card. And I'll tell them to cut this half, so they cut this half. And that did the same thing it put my key card on top of theirs. Then I'll pick up this, and we don't care about this, this is the other stack that wasn't even used, place that on top, and I'll say give the deck a cut again. So let's say they cut it one more time. They're gonna think everything's lost, right? It's completely lost, but it's no different. It's no different. The two of spades is now gonna be to the left of their card. So. I lay all the cards out again, just like this, making sure that I can see every pip. Okay, that's crucial. You wanna be able to see every pip. So you have to scan for that two of spades, okay? So I'm gonna make sure that I can see every single pip. And I can see my card and I can see their card. So this is how you do your big reveal, okay? Ask them to find their card and you can turn your head like this and say, I'm not, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. So. They find their card. You say, do you know where it is? You say, yes. You say, okay. You say, I'm going to move my finger over the cards like this really slowly. And when I cross your card, I want you to think in your own brain 
you found it. Okay, just say that out loud in your brain. You found it. Okay, so since I know it's over here, I'm not going to start here. I'm going to start on this side. I'm going to go through like this and just be really slow. I'm going to pretend that I'm listening to their voice. I'm going to go through like this, nice and slow. When I get to my card, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to stop because that's where they said you found it. I say, I think I heard you say it somewhere over here. They're going to be amazed. They're going to be blown away because they're going to think, what? So I'm going to take all these cards, scoop them off to the side, re-spread these cards, and say, let's do it one more time. Just tell me you found it when I, when I get to your card. They're going to say, you found it. And this is where I'm going to stop. I'm just going to do this and this alone, okay? I'm going to say, okay, I think, I think it's right here. I'm going to push my key card out of the way and their card right here and push this out and say, that's your card, the seven of clubs. And they're going to say yes. And now I'm going to refan all the cards just like that. Okay. And they're going to be surprised. They're going to say, yep, that's the seven of clubs. That's our card. As you're putting this card away, the reason why we spread these cards back out again, as the cards are all facing you, this would be a good time to learn another key card, right? So this sets you up for the second trick. Now, technically, you could do the same exact trick again for a second person. All you'd have to do is remember the bottom card. The bottom card right now is the Eight of Diamonds, and I already saw it. So technically, we could do the same exact trick for spectator number two, if we wanted to. But if you have the same spectator, now what I want to do is I want to remember the third and fourth card right over here. Card number one, card number two, card number three, card number four, okay? So I'm, my third and fourth card are the Ace of Spades and the Nine of Hearts. I don't have to sit there and repeat them in my head. I don't have to go Ace of Spades and Nine of Hearts, Ace of Spades and Nine of Hearts, Ace of Spades and Nine of Hearts. I don't have to do that. All I have to do is look at them. Just look at them and get a, a picture, a, a snapshot in your head. You know what cards look like, okay? Ace of Spades, that's really easy to remember. So... Nine of hearts is really all I have to remember. I'm remembering the third and fourth card from the bottom, okay? I'm gonna scoop all the cards up and I'm gonna say, you wanna see something again? And I can say that as ideal cards off the top. They say yes, I say okay. So we're gonna do the same thing, but a little different. So I say, cut the cards in half. They cut the cards like that. And I'm gonna to pretend to like see if they're the same. We like, need these to be the same size. So let's see, those feel like the same size. I'm gonna take the top half and they're gonna take the cards that have the key cards in them. So I know the third and fourth card from the bottom right now, all right? And I'm gonna tell them to do as I do, all right? So they're gonna hold this in their hand I'm going to hold this in my hand. I can't hold both in my hand, okay? So I'll say cut half to the table. They're going to cut half to the table. Okay, let's make, that's, that's half. Okay, and the only reason I did that is because I don't want to deal with any of those cards. There's just too many cards. That's a nicer amount of cards to have left, okay? Now, I might tell them to count five cards. One, two, three, four, five. At this point, you, you can do anything you want, okay? One, two, three, four, five. All we're doing is reversing the order. Okay? Spreads with the cards and look and say, I think I have about three, four, five, six, seven cards left. How many do you have left? They'll spread through theirs and they'll go, uh, I have about five cards left. And you know what? You know what? You know what? That's that's pretty good. Let's let's just do them all. So one, so I'll just deal all my cards back down like that. They do all their cards back down. All we did was reverse the order. That's it but you know cards three and four, right? So now you say, you're gonna do the same thing I do. Take the top card off and put it underneath. They're gonna take their top card off and put it underneath, okay? Then you're gonna say, take the next card off and put it in the middle. And they're gonna do the same thing. Take the next card off and put it in the middle. Now what? Now you know the next two cards, okay? you know the next two cards. So 
you can say take this card and put it in your pocket. So they put it in their pocket. And you can even say don't look at it. Okay. So they're going to take this card and they're going to put it in their pocket and they're not going to look at it. You say they take this card and put this one in your other pocket. And they'll take this card and put it in their other pocket. And you can say give these cards a cut and put them on the table. Cards cut, cut, put them on the table. So now you have two rando cards in your pocket, but they've got two cards in their pocket and you know what they are. Okay? So you have two cards in your pocket. They have two cards in your pocket, but you know what they are. You say, all right, you've got two cards in your pocket. You don't know what they are. There's no way I would know what they are. You cut your own cards. You dealt. You shuffled. Everything was on the up and up. Do you agree? They're going to say yes, even though you're totally ahead of them at this point. So up to this point, you and I, we've been mirroring each other's actions, correct? What I've done, you've done. So... That's created a little bond between us, and I'm going to take advantage of that mirror effect right now. In fact, I'm going to reach into this pocket right here and pull this card out, and I'm going to stare into it like a mirror, and I'm going to see the card that's in your pocket. I'm staring into my card, and I'm seeing a reflection come into view, and it looks like the Ace of Spades. I'm seeing the Ace of Spades. Now, you can see that my card is not the Ace of Spades, but I can look into this and see the Ace of Spades. I'm also going to reach into this pocket, pull this card out, stare into it like a mirror, and I'm going to see the Nine of Hearts. In this card, I'm seeing the Nine of Hearts. Now, as you can see, this is not the Nine of Hearts, but I'm seeing the Nine of Hearts. So my cards, the mirror that they've made, tell me that you have the Ace of Spades in one pocket and the Nine of Hearts in the other. Will you please check? They're going to pull the two cards out, and of course, they will match. That is how you can do two tricks back-to-back -back using the key card technology. Thanks for watching, guys. Stick around. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow this channel for more beginning-level magic tricks, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.